Both of last year's finalists have been eliminated, but we can't dwell on that because two new combatants have stepped into the ring. On the blue side, he was knocked out in the first round of the 2015 All-Star 1v1 tournament, and now he's back for some cold revenge. It's BB! Y su oponente se ha bastado el solo para destruir el nexo y meter a su equipo en los All Stars. Por eso su, su nombre, perdón, empieza por OP. Hattibus. Caballeros, la gloria les espera. Let's go, James. Come on. Let's go, Crepo. Let's go, the fish show. Glory awaits. I like that. It sounds you very win good. the tournament. Reminds me of like Gladiator as well. When you hear that, and you hear the beautiful Spanish as well, and good hype once again. And now you guys have to settle for us. Sadly for you guys, but this matchup, there's a little story between Optimus and and BP. Tell me a story. Uh, you want to you want to hear the story? Okay. So Optimus actually challenged BB to play a mirror match here in one v one, but he said because BB is older. He gets to choose the champion. And I, I don't know if BB actually accepted the challenge. I hope he did. There's a high chance we get a mirror matchup. But BB has decided what to play. BB is obviously very famous for like his Ezreal. Not a bad choice. I mean, a standard 1v1 choice. Not very appealing, though. What matchup would you like to see if it's 1v1? Not Caitlyn versus Caitlyn. I would, I would prefer oh, Gangplank versus Gangplank. What about like Bolly or oh, Ivan versus Ivan? That will go to 100 CS That's at some point. Lee Sin versus Lee Sin is actually a fun matchup to win. Yeah, but uh, this is a, a mid laner and an AD carry, and the off roll is actually just the, the, the opposite. So, like, Optimus plays a lot of AD carry himself, and BB obviously plays a lot of mid lane. So, they kind of play the same stuff, and they should be equally good in these 1v1s. There should be no clear advantage to either one. I mean, usually, when teams agree, or players agree rather, on a certain mirror match, they at least have fun with the bands and spell something out. Uh, right now, sure. <laughs> LCNK isn't really. Maybe they can't spell, I'm not sure. Uh, Might be it. These are like actually the very standard bands nope. we expected, like the Nasus, the Cannon. Nasus has been perm banned so far. Caitlyn has been opened once in the Mithy Levy 1v1, where Levy took down Mithy. And Optimus looking, you know, carry that torch forward because the only one winning for Team Fire is actually the guys from Southeast Asia. I mean, I like it when this is going. Team Ice. Uh, Getting a lot of players in the next round. Obviously, you can still fail. Varus, another like 1v1 AD carry champ. It works out very well. All right, are we going to get the mirror match? Or did BB ignore the challenge? So far. Did not pick up the gauntlet. It definitely, uh, well, it's hard to say because every single time I feel like we're talking about the picks, all the way down to one second, it they changes. Switch. They, they switch it, they switch summoner spells, they switch everything. Let's talk about something else then. All right. How's Denmark? Uh, Denmark is. Denmark is a bit of a mess right now. Honestly, I don't not really have to show what's going on. Uh, I was home a week ago. How was it? It was great. Just good to see my parents again. It's a pulsa. I definitely ate some pulsa. I mean, come on. When you enter Denmark, the first thing you do is you get handed a pulsa and then you eat it. <laughs> a custom search. That's your best. There you Check. go. Here's a hot dog and move on. Oriana. Ah, no mirror matches. Interesting choice from Optimus. Yeah, there's still. So for people that did not actually uh, get to see IWCA, there was an interesting Oriana build in there. Yeah, uh, we got to see the E Max Oriana with Dorn's blade, and it's just focused on like auto attack, out sustaining. Basically, yep. you shield yourself and you auto attack with the empowered auto attacks from Oriana. Because obviously, the shield itself gives you armor and MR exactly. once you carry the ball on from yourself. <laughs> Player in question actually never put any points in Q. Uh, repetitive auto attacks are good, but if you're playing against the champion, it gets rewarded even more for repetitive auto attacks, which is Draven. Yes. But I do feel like an Orianna getting a full stacks will benefit more from that than the Draven even like early game when he only has one axe bouncing around. Because with the shield to Orianna, she should be able to actually yeah. win that trade. I, I think Draven is going to struggle in this matchup because even at level 6, Draven has no tools to avoid Shockwave. There's no flash right here. No one is picking flash in this mode. He has no way of like jumping or dashing anywhere. So I think BB can just take... Q at like level 5, and then just straight up ulti level 6. So, yeah, so usually when you have these matchups that break down a level 6 into a clear advantage for one player, you would say that the all-in timing is either level 4 or 5. For the off, it was 5 the previous game. I think the Draven might have a window at 4. Two, two points into uh, Axe, 
one W to speed up, one E to kind of displace Oriana sure. in the position. Because again, BB doesn't have a way to kind of get out of the E either if he gets not kind of spored. It's just so hard for Optimus in this matchup because BB obviously running a second defensive uh, summoner, kind of knowing that as well. So when that all-in will happen, Optimus has to be so sure that he can actually take down BB. Otherwise, he's going to face like the barrier and the exhaust. The BB's going to shield himself and then just walk out. Minions and then wait for level 6 where he can very easily shockwave on yeah. Optimus. This is definitely the um, the build that we've seen before. It's the shield start on BB, repetitive auto attacks, only going to get stronger over time. Yeah. And that's why it speaks at the level 4 all-in as well, because level 5, there is that extra point giving more armor. And that's really the thing, like early game, ranking up skills is just like the best power spike you can possibly get until we talk about things like BF Sword. It's so, so important just getting that extra skill. It's often, you know, 40, 50, like extra damage or 30 extra damage on certain things. Yeah, Optimus didn't really control the direction of his axes well enough. So he dropped one CS. Yeah, the only advantage he got from like level one was he got the first hit onto BB. Oh, he dropped like three CS in total. But that's uh, been even now. BB loses some CS on the tower. Yeah, this is level two. Obviously, seven creep as usual. Level two onto Draven. What a challenge, but there's no range to punish BB there. No, and, and the thing about Oriana and, and this build they always uh, go for, the one we saw at IWCA was E Max and then W, and you just sped up yourself and you started like auto attacking a little bit. BB in this one has actually picked Command Attack, the Q, right now. So he's looking to fight a ball away and then pull it back. He actually didn't do it here. Yeah. Pull first to pull back the shield, but he wanted the instant shield for the auto attack. Unless he wants to. He might forget about it. Unless he just wants to move the ball again later on uh, for more damage. Or he just wants the mana to pick it up if he thinks the pass back damage isn't worth the mana he spends. Yeah, Optimus in good position here to get that relic. Very, very important, especially against like a mage who does use quite a lot of mana. Good trade from Optimus. He's committing. There's still barrier, there's still barrier. He's on the tower, one more hit. He got baited. He got baited so hard, Optimus. Right he's, still, he's, he's, run, he's running away. He has the wall out. He will get the relic. BB saved the barrier again. We've seen this before. You save it for such a long time and then you just use it on the tower. Yeah, you obviously want to shield early, then bait the barrier and then get the second shield if you can. We saw the mechanic of the pass-through damage as well. BB staying really calm right there, knowing that he can fire back with that barrier. And that's the thing we talked about before, you know, how hard it is for Draven to like all in because it's barrier, it's a shield, it's an exhaust, like it's so many defensive tools you have to power through when there could be minions hitting you, you're taking some auto attack traits back, and you don't want to step on the tower. And obviously this command attack will help ever so slightly to help you push as well, since it is an AoE effect. BB is pretty low on mana, so definitely wants to conserve it for the best moment possible. Optimus is relentlessly pushed. If he ever gets the push turned around, it is over for him, because then BB can control until level 6 here. And now we also have to remember, Barrier is the summoner spell with like the lowest cooldown. It's 180 seconds. Mm -hmm. where Exhaust is 210. So BB will get his barrier before Optimus gets his summoners, making uh, that window Optimus maybe could have had for all inning when he gets his summoners back, basically non-existent. Yeah. And look at BB, he, when he doesn't need to pick up the ball, he doesn't snap it back immediately. He's comfortably farming as well. Optimus looks like he has missed his window for the all in on level four slash five. So he'll likely have to base eventually. Yeah. Keeping the creeps out of the tower, because we talked about it earlier, it is very hard to CS under that turret. Exactly, good uh, position from BB here, just kind of tanking the minions for like one hit only just to stop them in the middle, and then his own minion shows up and kind of blocks them from moving further. Helps you bounce the wave as well. That's, that's what BB is looking for. Any mistake from Optimus in terms of wave positioning, getting the wave to bounce it, that's why he's continuously all attacking these creeps, just wants to get rid of that wave ASAP, hoping that eventually, if he trades a little bit with Optimus as well, on the good moments, that the next wave arrives with a tuner. Trade again here from Optimus, and he kind of needs some of these trades, but you notice how BB is not even using his W, because it's technically a waste of mana for the small amount of damage it deals. Mm -hmm. He has two ranks in Q and two ranks in E, so he just like Qs forward, pulls it back with the E, and then he just starts auto attacking. He's waiting for level six yeah. right now. There's no way for Draven to dodge a shockwave, meaning BB can decide when to engage. I mean, at this point, level six seems to arrive before summers come up. Should Optimus then not just base? Honestly, pick up yeah. the L magic. I think that's what he's doing exactly. He knows, like, the level 6 is coming. Oh, BB actually uh, sending They're one creep off, guys. Not pulling it back, so gets one minute. That's 6 for Optimus. He knows that BB will hit level 6 as well. And he just want to yeah, get... Clear. He wants to get out of there. He knows he can get all in. Doesn't want to risk it. Oh, BB could leave this on a freeze and just base. 
Because this is a matchup where you can actually punish with freeze. I feel like she, he's disagreeing. Maybe he needs like just a little bit of gold. extra gold for his Yeah, back. so he wanted the cannon. He didn't want to lose that. This won't freeze, but it'll softly position the wave here, allowing for a bounce. Because now Orianna, once he gets a bit more damage as well on the base of those spells, that's why putting extra points in Q helps you with the shove. But it's all out. Bought every sword in the store. Basically <laughs> walked in. Optimus, give me all the blades you have here. He needs just all in damage. His summoners are ready. He knows what's going to happen if he just keeps playing this like very slow game. BB does have attack speed boots here. Is that worth it? In terms of like cost efficiency? They did obviously get buffed a few patches ago, and they are actually a fine like item on its own for just pure attack speed. Also, if he does feel like the extra mobility can help him kind of decide if he needs to back away from a yep. fight. That's yeah, definitely true. Definitely just value though getting the attack speed, first of all. No AP damage or anything from BB. It's all focused on auto attacking right now. But look at the balls on right now. This game has changed from a kind of, you can't hit me because I have the ball on me, to please be careful if you uh, walk around. Mind, mind the ball, really. BB snaps it back the second he goes into trade positions again. Look at Optimus. He could keep trading, but he knows if he pulls the trigger there, yep. he's going to get ulti, and that's a zone. This is slowly turning into a kind of CS game where BB has the lead because he has much more zone impact. Exactly, and that's one really important thing. Like when you play these things that has like skill shots that can like CC and, and hit, if you just keep them ready, like don't just use them blindly or crazy. Like if you just keep them ready, you can actually just bait the other guy. But they're all in, Prepo. Going in here, Draven ulti. BB needs to reset badly. Oh, Ultimus did not chase because he was also slowed down. Gets the speed up. He needs shockwave. Oh. That was so close to missing. That's the saving grace here for BB. He now needs to levy this into a push. He needs the minions to help him, because if there's six, seven creeps here and a brush, then he can just do that. That's what Beb is doing right there. He does not want to yield. Pushes it out here. Used both summoners on both sides. There was a defensive shock wave from BB. Obviously, doesn't deal that much damage. Let's trade another small, small trade. But yeah, it's really hard for BB to like take down Optimus in time, and the CS is 61 to Because he gave it over. Right with, with this play, he gave the CS lead again, and that changes the entire scope of things. It, it, it doesn't matter what the lead is, if it's just a single CS. Uh, really good recovery from Optimus here, and we can question those boots too. Imagine if they were just funneled into either AP, or just raw damage on your auto attacks from the Orianna. I think definitely BB was aiming to kind of win on 100 CS. Because again, what you saw, what we talked a little bit about before, you like he kept the shockwave just ready. Because of the implication. Yeah, exactly because of the implication. Like Optimus knew, if I do step forward, he can shockwave me. So just kept it there. Didn't want to use it for damage or anything. No trade from Optimus though. Does have a cannon hitting him as well. Uh, good cycling on the axes here. BB's out of mana here, and this is actually what Optimus wants right now. Because the second this Oriana is out of mana, you're just comparing AD. He's pushed under the turret. Really good choke hold right now from Optimus. Yeah, and he's also able to get these relics. Right, he knew he had one behind him. He could use some mana, use some HP, go back and pick yeah. it up. This is where if you're BB, you just back. You get any item you want, and you're looking for an all-in under 20 CS, and that's a bad base timing right here, or a yeah. bad base location rather. Because again, now you're still gonna lose on CS, but the gap is closing. Now you only have 20 CS left to make a play. Yeah, you're the one who needs to all-in now, and you're against the guy with double door. You need mana, just base. You there's no way he's gonna get the victory on CS. He just has to go. Not the same place, dude. He's, he's looking for a QR combo. Maybe he's trying to bait it up. Yeah, he's literally there. baiting QR under turret. That's it. it. It's I don't think he has mana for it. 135. He? he just used all his mana on the shield now, so he's out of mana. There's no relic, and if it spawns, Optimus can pick it up because he's already positioned right next to it. BB, you're running out of time. I mean, he's running out of options. He should have probably based farther back on the turret and look for an all-in at this point. Because right now Optimus is just controlling it slowly. Oh, he's in tower. He's Third going shot. for an all-in. That's... That is so risky. You just had the entire game in the back. You were winning. 65 on mana right now. All right, BB's going back now. Barrier is ready very soon for BB. No summoners for Optimus the next, like, 30 seconds. But we're getting very close to our first 100 CS game. That's three minions here for Optimus. So he goes on to 90. 90. So he needs to get 10 out of the next two waves. It's not a cannon wave. I think they spawn every three waves. Well, remember also with a Draven, you can just ulti straight down the lane yeah, that's true. and at least get the caster minions once he picks up this full wave here. BB is going he full up mana. tank now. He picked up mana. When there's 10 creeps left, can you deplete your mana bar in time? He's going for a soft freeze here. Rearrange the creeps, but it kind of failed. He wanted them to... He wants one of those melees to die. 
All right, that's Optimus is kind of more shopping. swords, more swords. You know why not? Get more swords. Elixir Get the potion as well. as well. Elixir from Optimus. He's ready. Elixir of Wrath right there. So he's ready for the showdown. I'm not sure that was even worth it because he actually ended up staying much longer and could have lost like one. Th this can come down to like so few CS in difference, but but remember the fish show. Draven can always ulti down the lane. I yes. heard a wise man tell me that one time. And there is enough minutes here with all the casters as well. All in once more time. They're going for it. Optimus dropping low, baby. Oh, baby! Just not enough damage. No, he knew he had to try and all in it because there was so there were six caster minions, three million minions for Optimus. He would just need. To take I mean, all this them is down. a strategy that only works on CS victories because in the end, you're hybrid Oriana. You have no AP built in, which means the zone of your QR is only disruption.